okay guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i center the clay in order to make a vase using the potter wheel okay the very first thing you want to do is to knead the clay and you do that by uh, first of all what i like to do is just to get my clay ready for that and i just get the clay and i put my both hands on the side and then i push the clay forward using the heels of my hand to push the clay then i roll the clay back okay so this is kneading the clay like you're kneading bread and i'll just do this a few times and this method is called the ram's head so i do this a few times not too much i do this about eight to ten times and the idea in here is to get the grains of clay to align in the same direction. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna get the clay and I'm just going to compact it into a shape that's going to make uh, centering the clay easy for me. So I don't have to do more work than I need to, okay? Go. Get my clay into this nice shape right here. And this is what I'm going to try to center right in the middle of the wheel head right here, okay? Okay, so I got my clay in. I luckily got very nice and close to the middle, close to the center of the wheel. So it shouldn't give me a lot of work to center the clay. Okay, with my clay here in the middle, I smack a couple of times on top just to make sure that the clay is stuck to the head. So I'm gonna imagine my wheel head is like a clock. So I have 12, three, six, and nine, okay? Uh, I'm gonna put my hand right here on my five o'clock and right here on my seven o'clock and I'm going to press the clay. Now, when I press the clay, I'm using this part of my hand right there. Okay, I'm not using the middle. I'm not using the, the knuckles in here, my fingers. I'm using this part of my hand to make sure the clay is compacted. Now, I'm gonna put some pressure right there and I'm gonna put a pressure some right here. And this is going, I'm gonna squeeze the clay so the clay center in the middle nicely, right? Now, it's important to make sure that your hand is always a little moist. It doesn't have to be soaked, but always a little moist, okay? So let's give it a try. So you can see now that the clay is centered in the middle. I mean, it's right in the middle. My hands are not shaking. If you're doing this with the clay and your hand is shaking, that means it is not centered. But as soon as you can put your hand around the clay, as soon as you can put your hand around the clay and the, your hands are not moving, that means the clay is centered or very, very close to be centered. That's how you are going to be centering the clay. The next thing you might wanna do at this point is just clean the edges a little bit and you can use, do that by using some of your ceramic tools and that's just to get the excess clay off from the sides. Okay, so my clay center and I'm good to go. Okay, so now that we have learned how to center the clay, the next step is to learn how to open the clay in order to make into a vase or something, okay? So once the clay is open, uh, there are different ways to open the clay. This is how I like, that's how I do it. I think it is easy for me and it works for me, is I put my hands together on the side of the clay, my thumbs in the very middle, and I just push the clay down. Now, when you push the clay down, make sure you stop about a half an inch 
uh, before the, you touch the wheel head, so that way your pot has some padding down below. So it's important to know when to stop, okay? The next step now is I'm going to open the bottom of the pot up. So just the bottom, I'm just gonna expand down the base. So I do that by getting my thumb in the very bottom and then just moving to the side. Okay, so I open that. The next thing I'm going to do is open the walls up so it matches the bottom, just like so. So at this point, you can see we have a little pot in here with the walls are very thick, but we have a little bottom, a little vase in here. Before I do anything else, I wanted to stabilize the bottom of the pot and I do that by using a sponge. So I'm gonna do here, get my sponge. I'm gonna press down in the middle. Then I'm gonna press down to the side. Okay, that's gonna make sure that the bottom of my vase is nice and flat and even, which is gonna make my pot to stay on a wheel head when I'm working with it a little easier, okay? So the next thing I wanna do now is to uh, pull the clay up so the walls get thinner. Now there's different ways that you can do that too. Uh, the way that I do, that works for me, is I put my left hand inside the vase with my thumb on the outside. I get my right hand and I put at the base on the outside of the vase, on the outside of the vase at the bottom and I put on my index finger under my thumb. So I have my hand inside the vase, my thumb on the outside, and I have my right hand, my index finger against my thumb like uh, that. Okay. And then I apply very little gentle pressure on the clay and I start moving my hands up. And by doing this, we get uh, the clay to thin out and start to come up. So now that I changed the camera view, uh, we're gonna take a look in here how we can the clay to go up. Like I said, I put my hand inside, my thumb on the outside, I got my right hand, I put it right under my thumb, and then I slowly squeeze the clay and move my hands up. And that should thin the clay and make the wall grow to the top. So let's do it again. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I got my vase in here. I got my vase in here, right? So it is smaller at the bottom, it's bigger at the top. But if I wanted my vase to be even all the way up, I just make sure that when I'm opening the clay that my hands are going straight up and not out to the side. So in this case right here, I was opening the clay towards me in a diagonal line, which makes the top get wider. But if I just want the clay to go up, I just pull the clay straight up instead of to the side, okay? Now, if I want to change the shape in here, now that the clay has been, um, the vase has been made, I can do what's called the choke and just slowly close the shape of the vase with my hands. So I'm just like getting the shape and I'm just changing as I go with it. And just be careful, do not alter the shape too much. Okay. So, 
Another thing you can do with your pot, once your pot's up, you can create what's called a belly. And you can see right here, a belly right here. And the belly is done when you put your hand inside the vase and you push the clay outwards. And if you do this, you can see some little gradual change happening to the clay right now. Pushing the clay out. Okay, so that creates what's called a belly. And there you have it. Okay, now you have this little belly right here. My pot, my pot now is a little uneven, okay? And the same way you do the bell on the inside, pushing the clay outwards, you can get the clay from the outside, push it inward, and create a, a reverse bell that goes from the curve to the outside. And I do that by just pushing a little pressure on the lip and then pushing the clay outwards towards me like so okay so once your pot is made and it's finished you can get your sponge and just lightly touch the base on the inside and outside just to clean up some messes. Uh, you can use some of your tools to clean the bottom of your vase just to make it uh, a little neater and less muddy. <laughs> Kinda hard to make less muddy, you're working with mud. But you can clean the base of your vase just to make it look nicer. Um, let's see here, anything else I want to do with this vase? Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Okay, so now it's done. Now you know how to center the clay, how to open, how to stabilize the center, the base. Uh, you know how to pull the walls up to create a height of your vase. You know how to create a belly from the inside out, how to do a reverse reverse belly or the neck pushing the clay from the outside in and how to clean uh, the bottom uh, the last thing to do in here uh, let's see okay so the last thing to do with this base is to slice it off from the potter wheel and you do that by throwing some water on the wheel and then I use my wire I just drag that across and under my vase nice flat against the wheel head like so the water helps me to move the vase out of the way just to go down below and now that I slice it off from the wheel head I can just move it very carefully don't want to break what I just made Put on my little piece of cardboard right there and voila you made a ceramic vase uh, by the way i used one pound of clay to make this vase and it's nice and tall and it's nice and wide as well okay once this dry i can do a quick little sanding on the outside just to make sure there's no little masses of clay like here on top and once that is done uh, it's gonna be ready for glazing. So thanks again for watching. Uh, con please consider subscribing if you have not done so and I'll see you next time.